Gentlemen, boys and girls, champions of the Alliance across the ocean. Today, I come to you for the first time ever to do an EU transmog competition. Three, two, one. Oh my God. It had 362 people in like one second. 1,768 people? Jesus, man, what the... Dude. Oh my god. Okay, it's loading, man. It's loading. I, I... This has never happened before. Like, this amount of people has literally never happened before. Okay, alright, alright. The game is not responding again. Alright, and ending task. Alright, so I'm gonna get on another character. Uh, I'll get on this one right here. This is just a random level 1 paladin. Okay, all right, guys, come on. All right, everybody clear out of Stormwind, clear out of where I was at so I can log back onto the game, okay? That's all I want to do is be able to log back onto the game. Holy shit! Okay, um... It's like they're just coming at it. They just keep coming. Okay, um... All right, I'm going to log off in 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I will log off. <laughs> it's a Spurg factory. <laughs> it's printing spurks. Okay, all right. Let's see if I can make this work. It's a group of baldlings. They're not baldlings, man. Come on. Okay, okay. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running now. Holy shit. Jesus, man. Okay, all right. Okay, now I'll go over to here. Now, can I get a summon over to a garrison? What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Accept summon? Alright, I'm taking the summon now. Okay, alright, we should be in now. Let me move it. Wow! What the fuck, dude? This is awesome! Yeah, these guys are really good at building walls! This is incredible! Wait. I- I- they silenced me! We've temporarily suspended your chat and mail privileges. Boys and girls, for many years, the EU has been cucked. And I'm not talking about a joke that I can't make. I'm talking about the transmog competitions. The fact is, guys, it's been a long time. I've never done an EU transmog competition. But today, I am. This is the world first EU transmog competition. Boys, I want you to understand something. Not only are you representing yourself, you're representing the server, the EU population of your server as well, and the EU and your country itself. So boys, I want to see you looking good. I want to see you looking clean. And let's see what we've got. You know, you know, there are some things that they never really change. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, I think this does look pretty good, of course. I mean, you've got like the little Defias, it's not really Defias, right? But it's like the same thing. It's like the little uh, little face mask there with the uh, Void Enchant on your staff. And uh, that is the, I believe that's the blue one. It's hard really for me to say. But uh, that's, of course, the Scythe of the Unmaker from Argus. And I think those leggings there come from a Burning Crusade 5 man. I could be wrong about that, though. This is a very, very, very basic, I believe, Druid transmog. What do you guys think about this? Show her back. Uh, let's see, what's on the back? Uh, not really a whole lot on the back. Uh, just pretty much the same the same as always. So this is okay, it looks decent. What do you guys think? Any opinions? Turn up the graphics? Uh, I feel like the graphics are turned up. So I think this is okay, as I said. It's not necessarily amazing, but it's okay. Um, yeah, this looks decent. All right, let's go with the next one. 
CPZ, champion of the frozen wastes. So what was it that made you think that it would make sense for you to have the Dreadnought helmet? Like, what was it about the Dreadnought helmet that made you think that this would make sense? Because, like, you've got a full set, basically, minus two items. So you've got the shoulders right there from Normal Mode Dragon Soul from Spine of Deathwing. All the rest of the gear, because I paid three million for it. Wait, what? You paid three million gold? Three million gold for your Dreadnought helmet. No fucking way. Yep. I'm sorry to hear that. You know what you did with that three million? That's what you did. Give it to Asmon? Listen, man. I have it. All the rest of the pieces are from the Antorus Myth, except the scythe right there is, of course, the scythe of the Unmaker from Argus Normal. The other weapon right there is Helia's Gaze. It comes from the challenge mode artifact appearance from uh, Fury Warriors and 8.2. That's the Mage Tower. So, overall, I think this is a pretty nice looking set. Uh, actually, 8.1, I believe. Um, regardless, this is a pretty nice looking set. And uh, uh, overall, I think this is okay. And uh, it's a big oof. It's a. You really think this is a big oof? Uh, it's not a big oof. It's just decent, okay, guys? It's just decent. All right, let's go to the next one. Star Collar Simantilus. So we've got those shoulders right there from the Tier 14 Mage set. That cloak there comes from the uh, ICC vendor inside, obviously, of ICC. That weapon, of course, is a Lunith, which is the uh, Arcane Mage uh, arcane mage Staff. The helmet there comes from, I believe, the Throne of Thunder. No, it's not Throne of Thunder. Um, that is, I forgot which mage helmet that is, but I don't really remember offhand. Uh, regardless. Oh, isn't that? No, that's Hellfire Citadel, isn't it? It's Hellfire Citadel? Yeah. Let me see. Hellfire Citadel helmet. It is. Okay. All right. There we go. And, uh, of course, the Tabard of the Kirin Tor. Now, I actually like this a lot. I feel like this is a very, very well put together transmog. You have an arcane theme that's reinforced throughout your entire set. And I feel like that looks really good. You have the golden undertones of the, uh, of the majority purple set. And you even have, like, the little belt there. Now, the belt is very, very low res, and some of these pieces are low res, but because the color theme is so clean, I'm actually going to let those low res pieces pass because I know how hard it is to make certain things match together. I think this is actually a really nice looking set, and it looks really good. So, Simantilus, good fucking job. Hey, Asman, check out my pet. <laughs> Did you know those guys kill all of you guys? Like, maybe like 500 years ago? I don't know if you should have that that close to you, Matt. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it seems like a mistake. Okay, well, whatever. All right. Let's go to the next one. Lily Da. So we've got that right there. A chest piece there. It's one of the Kieran, uh, well, not Kieran. I always say Kieran Tor. Uh, Kulturist chest pieces. The staff. This is a quest reward from a Druid exclusive quest line in Vanilla WoW, isn't it? What the fuck? No, it's not. Wrong. Okay, well, what is it then? What is it? Like, I don't even know where this is from. No, that's okay. I That's fine if I don't remember where it's from. I, I don't know. Um. Uh, it's a gray item. It's exclusive. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck it is. Uh, random green BOE. Okay, well, I'm totally wrong about that then. Uh, I feel like this is a really good druid set, and the reason why I like it is it's like kind of, it's like, it's like you have to summon trees at 3 p.m., but you have to go to work at 5 p.m. It's like the perfect combination of having a druidic set, while it also is kind of relatively almost professional in a way. And I like the two, uh, the two differences there. Hey, do it again, you're out. Do it again, you're out. Just letting you know, okay? No no more bullshit, all right? Uh, corruption's annoying, yeah. Uh, I, I think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Uh, check out the pet, too. Okay, all right. Check out the pet. What is this here? I see you guys. They're real funny. They're real funny guys, okay? What can I say? 
Uh, helmet right there is from Tier 8, too, uh, by the way. Uh, this is a really, really nice set, Lydia. Uh, I like it a lot. It's very well put together. It looks very good. Wow! Ewarfin! I feel like you spent as much time on your name as your transmog. You just rolled your face on the keyboard and something happened. So this is probably one of the worst sets that we've seen so far. Those gloves right there come from Zulaman. I think the shoulders and a belt are from a tier set for fucking monks or druids back in Mists of Pandaria or Wad years ago. Those boots there come from Legion. The chest piece is the mythic uh, Blackrock Foundry druid chest piece. And those goggles there make you look like you're a 19 twink. This is dog shit. This is a dog shit ass set, and I want to explain exactly why it's specifically a dog shit ass set. The main thing is the shoulders don't fit together at all with your chest piece. There's nothing about these two that fit together in any way, shape, or form. Michael told me to do it. Well, Michael's a fucking idiot, and you not don't listen to Michael again. Michael has no fucking idea what he's talking about, and you need to go off of your own fucking instincts. Don't let Michael make a decision for you ever again with anything. Listen. This is awful. This is absolutely fucking awful. There is nothing good about this set at all, except for you have a general color theme, and I've never seen people use those shoulders before. Michael's an idiot. Oh, wow. Salty Bullwish from the guild Slap and Tickle. With the Brewmaster Artifact Weapon. The shoulders and the gloves. Okay, I really like that. I think that's a monk set as well. With the Kultiran heritage chest piece and legs. Ooh. <clears throat> I really like this, guys. I really like this. What do you think? Big boy? Yeah, he is a big boy. It's two sets combined. I do think that it's also... It is... The originality of the set is not particularly... See, look... So the originality of the set is pretty uh, is pretty low, but the look of it is pretty good. I, I like the look of it a lot. I think that it's pretty well put together. So uh, yeah, this looks actually pretty decent, right? But uh, it isn't really super original either, okay? Did Michael pick this one out for you too? You know what? No, this was Ol's idea? Yeah, I really think you should start thinking for yourself, man. I, I really think that it's time for you to start thinking for yourself. Let's go to the next one. Twilight Van Vanquishers Shinza. Uh, okay, so the sword's right there from Temple of Serathers. I'm a mummy straight out of the tomb. So this is a mummy transmog. You know what? I like this. I do. Not mommy. Okay. Um, mummy. I, I like this. What do you guys think? I think it, it fits really well together. The shoulders, the chest piece look good. Everything about this fits really well together. I mean, obviously the cloak doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But uh, because, besides that, the belt's a little bit weird too. But overall, I feel like this looks really, really nice. The corruption shit always ruins it. Yeah, if you guys want to, try to use some pieces that aren't corrupted. So uh, it's easier for me to see what's going on. The Diablo here, the belt doesn't match. I feel like the belt could match because obviously most of the mummies that you found back in the day, I'm pretty sure only like aristocracy and like, you know, uh, pharaohs and everything were mummies. Like many of the other people like were just fucking thrown in the dirt. So it's like you'd imagine like maybe they have like, I like my pet. Okay, it's another fucking pet. What's your pet? Asmuf? Jesus Christ, guys. This is... Okay, all right. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I like this set a lot. It comes together really well. I need to take a piss, guys. I'll be right back. What the hell is going on now? God damn it, get the fuck out of the way. Really? This is these are these guys. Oh my fucking god. Ragnora, Conqueror of Orgamar from the guild. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is this? It looks like you just boosted your character. Like this is actually a boosted transmog. It's like this guy just bought, like he came back from the game. And he just, like, he logged on, and he's like, Oh, see if I get an asthma transmog comp. And he just boosted a character. No? Yes. This is exactly what a boosted character looks like. Are you kidding? This is, you're, yeah, it's a trial character. Listen, the belt's a little bit odd. Doesn't really match. 
You've got Fellow Malorn. I think that looks pretty good, too. Uh, I farmed Molten Core. No, you didn't. You have nothing here from Molten Core. This is not... Jesus, man. Molten Core, my balls? Yeah, this is fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, and then the, the bandana, dude. What the hell? Is this what e is this what y'all do over in EU? Look at my weapons. What what are the fucking weapons, dude? What are the weapons? Let me look at it. Man, bro, like, don't you think that I see it? Don't you think I see the weapon, man? I'm looking at it. Oh my god, you don't know, noob? Then tell me. Then tell me what I don't know. What do I not know? Come on. My ring. Oh my god, you want me to inspect you again? Oh my fucking god, dude. What are you doing? You want me to look at your ring? Uh, is this... I have never... Is this what they do in EU? Like, I don't even know what to say about this. This is incredible. What the fuck is going on? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm dying. Yeah, this is crazy. Head? All right, that's enough. Okay, listen, dude. Listen, dude. Next time you boost a character, try to transmog more than two pieces to it, okay? Uh, before you come in. All right, next one. Ooh, I like this. Neric Vincent's... Oh, this is fucking badass. What the fuck? This is awesome. This is really, really cool. I, I love this, bro. Like, this guy's- Yeah, he's like a fucking vampire lord. It, yeah, he- This guy's going Venthyr whenever Shadowlands comes out. Let me tell you that. So that tabard right there is, I believe, the tabard of the, uh, what is this exactly? Uh, is that the tabard of the- uh, I always forget which one this is. Uh, Scryer's tabard. Okay, damn right. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Okay, obviously, weapon right there is the Untamed Blade. Drops from Razorgore, the Untamed, and Blackwing Lair. Those shoulders there are the heroic versions of the Antorch shoulders for, uh, Death, Death Knights. Same with the belt there as well, and the legs. The gloves and the boots there are one of the offset items that he's able to get for, uh, let's see, Warriors. And that's the Dreadnought, I believe, heroic version of the Dreadnought gear from Antorus as well. His cloak, as you can tell right there, is the, uh, legendary cloak, which fits perfectly. Holy shit! Holy shit, this fits well together. God damn, bro! Like, if I see somebody with a plate transmog that, I do, that I'm impressed by, that is fucking amazing. The only thing that I would say is a little bit mediocre is the weapon, and that's not your fault. It's just the fact that it's low res. And I think that one thing that a lot of people don't notice here that I think really adds to it is the little helmet there. The, uh, the circlet that he has on his head. I, I really think that fucking, that just takes it home, man. That just takes it fucking home. Uh, I like it a lot. Good fucking job, Neret. This is an incredible fucking set, and I love it. This is amazing. Quick shift the dreamer. Alright. Okay. So let's go ahead, let's talk about this a little bit. So we've got the, uh, the boots. I think those boots are from Firelands. I could be wrong, though. Uh, shoulders there are from Tuma Sargeras. The helmet is tier one helmet. And the weapon here is from, or is this weapon from? Somewhere in Wrath of the Witch King. I forgot where exactly. I don't know, guys. What do you think about this one? I, I feel like it's kind of, uh, you know, it's a little good. It's a little bad. I can't really say it's that great. Uh, what do you think? I think it's kind of okay. It's like just a decent, like, it's, no, don't put a sad face, okay? It's not a sad face transmog. It's just not a happy face, Transmog. Hard in the chat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it had a different tabard, it'd be good. That's actually a really good point. The tabard of the Scarlet Crusade doesn't... You tried so hard? Well, try a little bit better on your tabard next time, and I think you'll actually have a decent-looking set. The tabard of the Scarlet Crusade doesn't really fit at all with the rest of your set, and I think that you just kind of put it on for some form of, form, some, some form of prestige, and uh, you've got to pick something else about, out besides that. Do something a little bit better. Yeah, without the tabard or a different tabard, it would look pretty good. Well, I'd suck your dick either way, and the only tabard I had to look good with this set. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and stick with the first half of that sentence, and uh, we'll leave on that. Ooh. Ooh.
I like this. This is really good. This is actually really, really good. What the fuck? Um... This right here is the, um, which version is it? So the brown one is heroic. LFR is nor LFR one is fucking, is brown. So this has got to be the normal mode version of the Throne of Thunder warrior set, which is, again, one of the rarest sets that you ever see because it's so hard to transmog and actually look good. He's using the shoulders, the legs, and the boots from that set. With the chest piece there, that chest piece is the Aspirant Gladiator chest piece. It's a blue item reward that you got from the first tier of uh, PvP and Vista Pandaria. The tavern there is a tavern of the August Celestials. And the weapons there, I can already tell what those are. Those are the weapons, those are Core, Great Hammer, the Guardian, or whatever the fuck that it's called, from Talok in Heroic Old Deer, first boss. So this is, and the belt, and I think the gloves there are from the, uh, the Cult Tyran set. This is a really, really, really nice set. I love it. I think the color theme is perfect. And what I really like about this the most is you have this chain mail theme that's being reinforced throughout your entire set. Now, obviously, the color of the uh, the chess pieces chain mail and the color of this chain mail here and your leggings is not necessarily the same. But at a distance, like even from like right here, it looks pretty much fine. And I really like what you're done with this. And I think that it fits really very well together. Uh, Quinos, nice fucking job. BFHS, LOL wrong. This is Dread Aspirant's chest plate. Dread Aspirant's chest plate. See? Don't correct me. Stop. Just stop. Stop. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is a, a show the weapons. Okay, yeah. Take the weapons out. Show them the weapons. Let's see how the weapons are. Uh, you said it wrong first? Well, I said Dread Aspirant, didn't I? Our first tier of Mr. Pandaria PvP. I mean, that's that's the same thing. Yeah, the weapons look really good, too. Uh, I like the weapons a lot. Okay, yeah. Uh, I like the weapons. They look good. What the fuck is this? This looks like if Tiger Panda went on a diet. This is literally Tiger Panda on a diet. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, what do you think? So the weapons, I think the weapons come from Blackrock Foundry. I could be wrong about that. I don't remember where exactly. Helmets, the Warmongering Gladiator helmet. Uh, let's see. What else besides that? Uh, definitely an Edgelord. I don't even know, dude. Uh, regarding this, shoulders. Yeah, the shoulders are from, like, Wrath of the Witch King or some shit. They're so old. And then some of these pieces come from, I think, Wad, like the, the belt does, maybe? And I don't know. I actually... I hate to say this, but I kind of like it. This guy's like a tracker or something like that. You know what I mean? The original looks pretty good. No, it's not Joe Exotic, okay? Like, it looks it looks really, really fucking nice. Shoulders are wad questing. Are they really? They're really low res for wad item. Uh, I thought it was uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Regardless, yeah, this is... E oh, wait, yeah, it is EU Transmog. It is EU Tiger Panda because he's skinny. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course that's why it's EU Trans uh, Tiger Panda. Yeah, he's a skinny guy. It makes perfect sense, man. Wow. I, I didn't even need to say he went on a diet. I could just say EU. Makes the same damn fucking thing. Okay. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Shaco, nice fucking job. Uh, this is... You know, no matter where you go in the world, sometimes things never change. This is good. Elder Genra. This is really good. This is like fucking Medivh, man. Yeah, this is like this is like the Medivh set. No, obviously he doesn't have ATS, right? But other than that, I mean, this is really, really well put together. I love this, man. So good. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I really like it a lot. So the shoulders and the gloves there are obviously the Antorus uh, Druid set. Uh, the staff there is the uh, I think that's the Druid Ganir staff that you're able to get. Actually, it could be the I don't know which one it is. I think it's Ganir. Uh, but regardless, it's the artifact weapon staff. Uh, the tabard there. What is this tabard? Um, is this the Dreamweaver's tab? Yeah. Holy shit. And then a belt there comes from Cold Tiras. And this helmet, Freebooter helmet. This is real. Hey. Hey, you're literally fucking two inches away. Relax. This is really good. What do you guys think? Do you like this or not? Uh, he said Tabard correctly. You mean Tabard? Yeah, sorry. There you go. 
Uh, yeah, regardless, I think this is really, really well put together, and it looks fucking amazing. Yeah, nice fucking job, dude. Uh, this is really good Genrath, and, uh, I like it a lot. It's banging? Yeah, it's banging. That's, that's, that's a good way to look at it. Check, Pat. What a day. What a day. What a day, dude. True. True. Uh, okay, man, let's go to the next one. What a day. Ooh. Arc Druid Alania. Okay, again, the artifact weapon, Guardian of Ganir, the helmet right there from the Old War Tier 8 Druid set, those shoulders there from the Nighthold Druid set as well, and then also the belt from the same place, the tabard of the 7th Legion, with the boots from the 7th Legion as well, and, uh, I... I think this is really good. This is actually really, really good. The boots are the only thing that I'm not, like, a huge fan of, but I actually, like, I don't know, like, what would be better than this. Like, this is just really good. It's full set. No, it's not a full set. That's the thing, is it's not. It, it's basically two different sets. Uh, so partially, she's using the belt and the, be uh, and the shoulders from one set, and then nothing else is from that same set, I believe, except for maybe the gloves, I don't remember exactly. Uh, this is really, really nice. I like it a lot. It's like a holy druid. Yeah, this is like a Lightforged druid. And, uh, yeah, like fucking High Priestess of a Loon or some kind of shit. Uh, this is fucking amazing. Tabard's out of place, though? Well, no, I don't think it is at all. So, basically, the idea is that, like, she's an Alliance Druid. And that's why she's using the Seventh Legion Army. So, I don't think the Tabard is out of place, because her being an Alliance Druid is part of the theme of the set. So, I, I like it a lot. This is really, really good job. Like, these are actually probably better than a lot of the U.S. ones. Holy shit. I I'm going to try to get rid of some of the ground foliage here, uh, so we can see people a little bit better. Uh, give me one second. System, uh, ground cutter, we're gonna take this to one. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that way we can get a better idea of, like, who we're looking at here. And some things never change. Martin. This is almost really good, but I think that it's still a generic warrior transmog. This is the Grievous Gladiator's shoulders, belt, or sorry, not belt. Uh, leggings and boots. Ooh. Wait a minute. Take the weapons out again? Take the weapons out again. Let me wait for the shoulder to, to change up, okay? And then it's a Cataclysmic Gladiator's helmet and gloves. And the belt and the chest piece there are from Mythic Emerald Nightmare. That is actually... That's really clean, dude. That is really fucking clean. Like, I, I I don't know. Like, the shoulders, like, matching with the weapons like that, I, I actually feel like I'm going to take this a little bit more seriously now. Okay, like, the first couple of them, I was like, eh, you know, it's all right. But uh, this actually does look really good. Uh, this is very, very well put together. Yeah, it works very well. And uh, even the chest piece and the belt match really well with the uh, shoulders and the gloves. Can I show you two more sets? Um, Real quick, just, like, like real quick. But this is the one I'm going to rate you on. And this is only for him, so I don't want to have a million other people asking me to show me, like, multiple sets. One more set. Real quick. Okay, alright, try again. Alright, try again. Helmet's too low res. Uh, that's the problem. Uh... You made the right decision by coming in here with the first one. The first one's by far the best. Uh, the other two were pretty bad. Next one. What the fuck? Help? What the fuck is going on over in EU, man? This weapon right here is one of the Wards of Draenor PvP weapons. That top hat, I think, comes from... I don't even know where the fuck the top hat is from. Like, where the fuck do you get a top hat like this? Dust Cave and Top Hat? I have no idea. So the transmog... Oh, we got away. That's good. Um, the transmog is really good. Um, what do you guys think about it? Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, I think it's really well put together. Oh, it's from Island Expeditions. That's crazy. I had no idea. I didn't even know what the hell that was. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I actually like it. I think that it fits really well together. And uh, all the pieces look good. Everything about it looks good. 
and uh, I think even the weapon and the uh, the book look really good too. His uh, his offhand. It is a little bit of a hipster transmog. You're right about that. But I live in Austin, so I'm more used to it. So listen, this is a really really nice looking set. It's very clean. It's very basic. It's more realistic. I like it a lot. Good job. Titan Slayer, Dome List. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. This is really nice. That helmet right there is the Tier 5 helmet. That's the Malorn set from uh, from Tier 5. Those shoulders there are the Tier 9 shoulders from Trial of the Crusader. The chest piece and also the gloves are part of the Wild Heart set. And then the scythe there is the scythe of a loon. This is really good, man. What the fuck? Like, I, I like this primarily because it's original. Like, I haven't seen a set that looks like this in a long time. And the chest is not Wild Heart, really? Let me see. I guess it's not. Spring Rain Tunic. Wow. Oh, Spring Rain. I guess it looks so much like Wild Heart. Holy shit. And these are the Dreamwalker gloves from ICC. T Sorry, Nax Rama's Tin Man? Damn. Nice fucking job, Domalus. I really like this a lot. I feel like this transmog is original and different. And I'll be honest with you, man. I don't think I've ever seen someone come in here and use those gloves before. Uh, those gloves are really unique and really cool. I like it a lot. Good fucking job, Domalus. Great fucking job, Domalus. Boosted Druid? He's not boosted, dude. He's not boosted, dude. He's doing his best. Dretherion, the faceless one from the guild. Twitch chat. Okay, let's see what we've got here. That helmet right there comes from uh, Tomb of Sargeras Mythic, as shoulders come from ICC 25 Man from Paladin set. The gloves and the boots there also come from the Antorus Mythic DK set, and the belt and the leggings there come from also the uh, Tomb of Sargeras Mythic set. And then the chest piece is from... That's the Mythic Antorus DK chest piece. So, and then the weapon here, what weapon is this? Let me see. Tyrant Belhari. Hellfire Citadel. And then the cloak. Oh, I love the cloak. Take the weapon off. Oh, I love, dude, the cloak and the helmet, bro. The cloak and the helmet are clean. Dude, uh, it's a it's a Legion Dungeon one? No, I don't think it is. Uh, Soul Timber Chestplate comes from... Uh, it, it comes from somewhere in Antorus. Uh, I can pretty much guarantee that. And uh, yeah, the helmet and the shoulders. Look, or sorry, the helmet and the cloak. That is really nice, man. That's really fucking nice. Wrong about shoulders? No, I'm not. These are the Nax Ramas 25-man Paladin offset shoulders because they are the light blue coloration. Okay? Like, I don't want to argue with people about every single piece, okay? Check the pet. Wait. ICC? Oh, did I? Uh, okay, I, I, I always get this too confused. Yeah, regardless, it's from Max 25 Men. Uh, anyway, why is this Rich Campbell? Like, what, what, why does, why is it Rich Campbell? I don't understand. The Rhino? Oh, right. God, dude, that's so fucking... Are you fucking kidding me, man? He's gotta use that. Oh, cause he's horny. Okay. Okay, so listen, man. Uh, I think the transmog does work really well together. And as a DK set, I like it a lot. I feel like the only thing that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of is the Tabard. Uh, the Tabard is not really amazing. I think this is the Tabard of the Ren's Vanguard, right? Uh, let me see. Well, it's obviously a DK transmog. Uh, like, you can't have horns on a Paladin set. Yeah, Ren's Vanguard. That's what I thought. And uh, overall, I guess the colorations do fit really well together. And uh, it works pretty well. Yeah, so it's a, uh, you know, whatever. Not that bad. Okay, let's go to the next one. Shippy X, the fabulous from the Guild Panthers. I lost? Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, guys, but... I think this set sucks. I think it sucks. Now, the reasons why I think it sucks, there's a lot of reasons, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, narrow them down to just a few things, okay? Give me a minute. Let me take a drink.
the the legs and the belt don't fit very well together. I don't think that they look that good. I don't think they match at all. And the boots are just basically, I think, from the same set as the belts is from. I don't really like that a whole lot. Now, the shoulders here, these shoulders come from uh, Firelands Heroic Rogue set. And uh, the weapons there are obviously just like the Demon Hunter artifact weapons. Uh, I, I just think that the actual armor that you have equipped doesn't really fit very well together. The only reason anybody is fucking thinking this is a good set is because you're just simply not wearing a shirt. Which, I mean, listen, uh, that's all. If you want to make Twitch chat happy as a female character, just take your shirt off. That's literally all you have to do. Unless you start streaming, and then they're going to fucking hate you. That's the way that it works, guys. Let's go to the next one. Get out of the fucking way. Ubel. Well, oh, sorry. Uh, Quillel. I don't like the shoulders, man. I just don't. I don't feel like the shoulders fit together with the rest of your set. Now, I really like your weapon choice, right? I, I really like your weapon choice here. I really like your chest piece and your leg choice here. Uh, these fit really well together. The Kul'Tiris belt, the gloves and the boots there from the Chosen Dead set, the shield there from Tyrant Valhari and Hellfire Citadel, and these shoulders, though. I believe these shoulders are from the uh, first tier of Mists of Pandaria uh, shaman set? I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think that they really fit that great. It's a good set. You think this? is. All right, let me just go ahead and move back a little bit. So did the shoulders actually work or not, guys? What do you think? So you've got the shoulders, and they've got feathers on them, but the other stuff is from crystals. Like, you either have crystals or feathers. I feel like you can't really have both. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I think that you need to pick a better pair of shoulders, but you've really got something good going here. Uh, I like it a lot, but the shoulders need to be changed. Uh, that's my opinion. Shoulders should be gold instead of silver. Yeah, if you're trying to go with, like, two different themes, he, my mom likes it. Okay. Well, your mom's fucking wrong. Your mom's fucking wrong. Sorry. That's the truth. Somebody got to say it. What the fuck is this? Illidari Zom Master X creator. Fellblood Eviscerator from Fellward Zakun and Hellfire Citadel. Leggings there from, I believe, Tumas Argaris. Shoulders there from the Legion. What the fuck is this? I don't even know what shoulders. These are like one of the base Demon Hunter shoulders. Hey, this is... This is awful. This is actually terrible. This guy looks... <sighs> Let me think of a good way to put it. I don't even know. I actually don't know. Like, I would say a demon hunter with no fashion sense, but most of them don't have any fashion sense. Uh, I would say Illidan after a... You know what it's like? I've got it. It's like a demon hunter who decided to start living off the grid in a hippie commune. That's exactly what you look like. And that's not a good fucking thing. Okay? The weapons don't fit at all. Uh, the shoulders don't make any goddamn sense. And it just is ridiculous. We'll skip this song, okay? This song is a little bit ridiculous, okay? Uh, regardless, Zom Master, this has got to be a lot better, okay? Uh, this is just a dog shit ass set, okay? And I don't just say that lightly. I hardly ever call sets dog shit ass sets. But this truly is. This is truly probably the worst one that I've seen so far. And the reason why it's the worst one is because I know you tried. See, a, an, a lack of effort is actually more impressive to me than a failure. This is a failure. Better luck next time. He tried. The fuck is this? The fuck is this shit? You got that weapon right there from Kromok and Hellfire. Still love you, Asman. Uh, a bit too weeby of a mog, but doesn't rely on set pieces. You're right, it doesn't rely on set pieces. Those, sh those leggings there are from, I believe, the PvP version of the, uh, like, it's Fierce Gladiator? I forgot which one. It's the, uh, the Juggernaut set, basically, uh, from Antorus. Hey, quit, quit playing around with those balls, okay? Uh, shoulders there and also the belt come from the uh, Mist of Pandaria five-man dungeons. The helmet obviously comes from the Shadow Pan Exalted questline. The tabard there is the cover to the Kernii from uh, Negrand, the old Negrand. 
and uh, the boots are a little bit too small for me to even be able to tell. And the weapon, of course, comes from Frommock and Hellfire Citadel. So, ooh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I feel like the, the coloration on the weapon is a little bit odd, but I don't really want to make a decision based off of something that's so precise as that. So what do you guys think? What do you like? You guys like it? Boring? Simple? Makes sense? I, I like it, but the problem with gnome transmogs is if you try to take a gnome transmog seriously, you just look like an idiot. You know what I mean? Little Ben... Oh, jeez, dude. I forgot. Wasn't this fucking thing like a million gold or something? Like I forgot how much money I spent on the thing. Regardless, this is a... Uh, that, the Tabard is just... It's very low res. It's one of my favorites. I used to love that Tabard, but now I can't use it anymore because it's just so bad compared to everything else. Overall, though, this is a decent looking set and it fits well together. I even like your choice of leggings. I think the leggings are the most interesting choice about this. The weapon, no, I'm not really too sure about. Goal, I'd probably beg for? No, no, it's... Uh, did I beg for that goal? I bet I think I did. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. Wow, hey, whoa! Hey, 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 bro! Nice, dude! Dude, he did the five man from BC! He got the gear! The ambition! Bro! There's no ambition here. This is sad. You're gonna use the, the Witch Hunter's Harvester, or whatever the fuck it's called, as the weapon? With a full set. Let me ask you something. Why did you think that you'd be able to come in here with a full set, bro. What what were you thinking? What were you possibly thinking with this? Shamelessness. Uh, this is awful. All right, let's see what he says. He's trying to think what to say. He's like, oh, fuck, dude. I've got to say something funny, dude. He says, glory to Lorian. Yo, fuck Lorian. Let's go to the next one. Grand Marshal Agrius from the Guild Melroy Circle. Sadly, I didn't have anything prepared, so I made this in a few seconds. Yeah, I can tell. So, uh, you've got the weapons right there. Obviously, that's the Hellscream's pig sticker that you're able to get from the uh, heroin item that you're able to get from, uh, what was that, Garrosh back in Hellfire, or not Hellfire, uh, fucking Siege of Orgamar. I think they should add those back into the game, by the way. Uh, and then the shoulders and the gloves there that come from the uh, Elite Cruel Gladiator set from uh, Legion. The helmet there, which is the Laystone helmet that comes from a crafting recipe in Legion for blacksmithing. And then the chest piece there is the... Um... Siege of Orgamar Paladin Mythic set. So, what do I think about this set? I think that the... I think it looks terrible. And the only reason that I can't really fully understand how terrible it looks is the fact that you have the corruption stuff on. Yeah, this is a terrible set, and the corruption stuff does partially mask it. So, I guess he's lucky for that. Uh, somebody's place wasn't prepared. Get them. Will you do Horde, please? I'll do Horde next week, as I've said before. Uh, yeah, I will do that. Corruption's part of the Mog. Uh, I think actually this does look a little bit better. Uh, it, it looks okay. It, it's unique, at least. I mean, I'm gonna say that's a positive. It is unique, but it's something that I get, like, overly excited about, okay? Uh, let's see. I'd set on another character. It was too low item level. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I, I'll try to figure out a better way to, uh, to set it up and do it. Asgar. Asgar. All right, so I, I might have to just give this guy the win just for his fucking name, man. The guy's name is literally Asgar. I don't know why. I think it's funny. Okay, so uh, obviously what we've got going on here is the, uh, that's the High Mall and the Blackrock Foundry Heroic or Normal, I forgot which one, uh, DK set for his helmet and shoulders. And then also the uh, Tomb of Sarge, not Tomb of Sarge, uh, Hellfire Citadel uh, set for his gloves, his belt, and also his boots there. And uh, that's for Paladins. And then the leggings and the chest piece there are the blacksmithing items that you're able to get from Warlords of Draenor. And then the axes are also from Warlords of Draenor. And then they are the uh, the blacksmithing axes. I think they're the level 3 ones as well. So I really like this a lot. I think it looks really good. But do you guys think that it's a little bit too basic? Because like the colors on this fit perfectly together. The fact that he's using all the pieces that come from the same expansion ensure that the items actually do look good together. What do you guys think? It's not a full set. It's three separate sets, guys. It is three separate sets. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about this. No real theme? 
does it really need a theme? I mean, like, it doesn't need a theme and a backstory. It just needs to look good. Uh, I don't think that it really needs all of that. But uh, helmet's ugly as fuck. Uh, I love that helmet, actually. I don't know. I don't know if I can agree with that. But uh, I do really like this a lot. Uh, it's good because it's a full set, even though it's not. Yeah, I, I mean, like, the colorations are really, really well done. Uh, Asgar. Asgar. This is a nice looking set. I know that there are a lot of people that are going to disagree with me and say that I'm wrong, but I'd just like to let you know that they're wrong, and so don't worry about it, okay? Good job, Asgar. Great job. Fuck you, chat. <laughs> Damn, dude! Asgar ain't taking your shit today! Yeah, that's what you get! Alright, very end of the Immortal from the uh, Guild Anachronox. This is fucking incredible, I love it. This is actually fucking incredible. Hey man, love the stream. Like, this is- uh, I, See, I said it after I said that. This is amazing. I- I really, really, really like this. That's the Demon Hunter- And quit messing with other people's terms. This looks amazing. That shoulders- Oh, okay, so, the, uh, the shoulders there come from the, uh, Hellfire Citadel set for rogues. And, uh, what are these weapons? Are these weapons the, um... Ooh. Ooh. Wow. And then the, the uh, the cloak there from the pre-expansion, uh, the, the pre-order thing? Uh, I really, really, really like this. Holy shit, I like this a lot. What do you guys think? And the chess piece here? Fearless Gladiator's chess piece? Holy fuck, this is good. Wait, these are warmongering. It's a different set. I guess it's just an offset. Wow. Yeah, pull out the weapons. Let's see the weapons. Yeah, this is really, really fucking good, man. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I like this a lot, man. Uh, Yennefer from Witcher 3. Bro, you can't say that every single time a female has long, dark hair. Okay? Like, come on. Okay, move on to the next one. Oh, shit. Bioshock. That's a big daddy. Yeah, that's a big daddy. I actually have the game Bioshock. I got the original game. I never played it. My friend Jason came over to my house every day and he played it. And I just watched a little bit of the cutscenes. I was like, all right, that's good enough. No, I never played the fucking game. Uh, need a female gnome DK for partner mog? Okay. Well, regardless, I think this is fucking incredible. The weapon matches amazing. Obviously, he has a theme that he's going for. And for those of you guys that don't know what it is, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pull it up. Okay, I'll search Big Daddy uh, off stream real quick. Uh, Big Daddy Bioshock. Uh, just give me one second. Yeah, there we go. Make sure there's nothing bad on here. Okay, yeah, this should be fine. All right. So take a look at this. It's pretty much the same damn thing. Uh, I think this is really, really well done. This is fucking amazing, dude. Like, great job. Look at that right there. That's pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah, this is extremely well put together. Great fucking job, dude. Uh, I think you did probably the best job possible on this. And I think the weapon and the helmet choice are just fucking perfect. Uh, I love this. Good job. Rapture matches name to? I don't know, honestly. I never played Bioshock, as I said, so I'm not really sure. Uh, regardless, this is fucking amazing. Rapture is the city of the- uh, is the name of the city of Bioshock. Wow. Okay. Well, there's a lot of dedication to this one. This is really, really good. It's like the EU people, man. They've got these new ideas. Like, dude, we're internationalizing the fucking transmog competitions now. And I better see some better fucking sets now. Like, this is impressive. Like, you got, and these are random invites. These guys are really good. Joy Bro, the faceless one from the guild, Big Dumb Kids. Iron Horde Saber from Black Hand. I think that's heroic or normal. And then the shoulders there are the Antorus DK shoulders or Demon Hunter shoulders. The Tabard of the. Uh, either the Tabard of the Argent Dawn or it could be of the Protector. I'm not sure which one. I don't know, man. I feel like. So I don't think the tabard ruins it. I, I think it's really just like the legs and the boots. 
like like these like knee pads that I guess she's got on, which actually that's pretty cool. Um, but on top of that, like the legs there too, I don't really feel like they fit that well together, guys. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, usually I'd get excited whenever I saw a female wearing knee pads, but honestly, with this one, I'm not really amazed. Uh, it's okay, but overall, it's like, you know, it's just, you know, it's whatever. A tabard ruins it. Yeah, I feel like it's partially just tabard trying to show off. You know what I mean? Uh, let me go ahead and look and see if it's tabard or projector. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay, so this guy's been playing since vanilla WoW. Uh, I like the weapons a lot, and I think the shoulders look really good. Build your set off of that and less off of the tavern, and uh, you'll have a good looking set. Hmm. Wow. Wow. This is awesome. I love this. Holy shit, man. So that belt right there, is that the Grievous or Prideful Gladiator's belt? What the fuck is that? Grievous Gladiator's belt right there. The leggings, the boots, and also the gloves right there, I believe, are from... Uh, what is this from? Like, Fungal Resistance Plate Boots. Isn't this from, like, Gorgon? Like, these are all, like, leveling items from... Uh, from... From Warlords of Draenor. And then Breastplate of Guiding Light. Yeah, Wad Leveling, I thought so. And then the shoulders here, hey. I, if I have to read your dumb fucking name again, I'm kicking you out of the group. Let's go. Everybody in the in the guild, or sorry, in the group, watch him. If he does one fucking thing, I kick him out. If he does one thing, I kick him out. All right, so Vici, uh, shoulders right there are obviously the old war shoulders for paladins, and the tabard there is the tabard of the Arcan Crusade, uh, which is in uh, in Wrath of the Lich King, and uh, no more than two pieces per set. Yeah, I know that. Um, and then the weapon here, what weapon is this? Okay. All right, that was it. Okay, so um, yeah, the weapon is really fucking nice. The weapon and the sh uh, and the shield here, I believe, the weapon comes from the Broken Shore for um for different characters that have a uh, what do you call it? Uh, that like paladins and DKs are able to buy a special box of weapons that gives them certain special transmogs in 8.2 or 8.1. I forgot really which one it was, or 7.1 or 7.2. And this is one of the maces that you get out of them. This shield is fucking amazing too. This guy actually looks like a paladin. Spark got rolled, framed. Well, listen. If he didn't want to get framed, he shouldn't have kept doing shit wrong. Like, I, I, that's not even my fault. That is not even my fault that happened. Yeah, he shouldn't have been fucking around. Uh, listen, uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, it, it's like I should have kicked him out the first time anyway. Uh, that's what happens. Uh, if he didn't do it the first time, I wouldn't have blamed it on him, right? But right after that, oh man, he's done. So listen, Vici, I love this set. It looks fucking amazing. Good fucking job, all right? Listen, I'll get to you next time, okay? Full set, Andy. Go ahead and relax. Wait, I'll oh, get the fuck out of here. Okay, uh, Fire Ward Peepoo. What the fuck? What the fuck with the gladiator's mace right there? Thanks a log. Thanks a log. Of course, man. Yeah, of course. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Uh, this the weapon offhand right there comes from obviously Palace of Ashara or Ashara's General Palace. Could be a PP one. There's like five different versions. Tabard of Iron Forge. And then the uh, let's see here. What is the uh, the shoulders there come from Island Expeditions? And uh, the eye thing obviously it means the uh, means she listens to a lot of My Chemical Romance or of course did the quest line that allows that to happen. And then the gloves there, and also the legs and the boots all come from Aldir. And then this belt, I think, is a vanilla WoW item. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this? <clears throat> Wrong. Are they not Aldir? Leatherworking set? Wait, really? Wait, what? 
That's leather working? Emblazoned Tempest gear. Holy shit, I think that you're right. I've never seen this before. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that looks great, man. Holy shit, man. Nice fucking job. Still all deer tier? Well, regardless, it does look really good. Uh, yeah, it's oh, it's the same thing? Okay, it's the same fucking model. Alright, I was confused there. Uh, this looks okay. I think that the weapon and the offhand are a little bit weak. And if you improve that a little bit, I really like your idea of like a flame druid or something like that. But the weapon and the, uh, honestly, it just looks like this one had a light bulb in it and the light went out. A and this mace right here just looks like shit. It looked like shit back in the day, but at least it did a lot of damage. And now it just looks like shit. Jagarv, what's left behind? With the waste of time, the pantaloons there, these axes, what the fuck? I never see these. Netherbane. Netherbane. Alar? Is Netherbane from Alar? Let me see. Uh, the eye? Hi. What can I say, dude? What can I say, dude? And, and then also the shoulders there come from the uh, monk set for, uh, what is that? Uh, what place is that called? Ah, uh, Antorus. It's the monk Antorus set. Uh, regardless, I, I think this is actually pretty fucking good. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I don't really know why I like it, honestly. I feel like it's just because it's original. Like, seeing some of these, uh, these EU transmogs is really refreshing for me because I've been able to actually look at a lot of new types of ideas. And I think that's one of the best part about, like, you know, going and looking at other people's different shit. Uh, is like you actually get to see like these new cool ideas that people have and I actually like it a lot Good fucking job, man I think like the uh, the helmet with like the uh, the belt thing as well like the way those two things fit together It's fucking perfect, dude. So nice job. I really like this a lot. Good fucking job. I'm proud of you. You're a good boy Good job Jagger What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? That's the Antorus helmet for the uh, shamans? Oh, shit! Mounting vengeance from uh, Sunwell Trash, is it? I haven't thought about this for 10 years. You guys know Paladini. We did a Sunwell trash run together a long time ago. Back in Burning Crusade. And he got this and I did. On his shop. He got the fucking mess. It used to only be an offhand. And I needed it. And he fucking got it. 2008, 2007, long fucking time, fucking ridiculous, anyway, I'm not going to blame you for that perk, I know you didn't do it, alright, it just reminded me of something that happened a very, very long time ago, uh, belt right there also comes from Throne of Thunder, that's the, uh, I think that's the shaman set as well, the chest piece here, chest piece is from, eh, Old War Tin Man, I believe, uh, for hunters, and then the gloves and the helmet, obviously, on Taurus set. The shoulders here are the normal mode version of the Shaman Tier, tier 11 shoulders from Bastion of Twilight. Uh, this is a really, really, really nice looking set. I like it a lot, but I hate to say, I think the weapons are kind of mediocre. Like, the reason why I think they're mediocre is because the way that they're angled, it makes it look awkward because of the way that your glove, uh, your glove things are on. Like, your glove armor. And I feel like that's the main problem with like your your weapons here. Now, what do you guys think about that? Salty? I'm not salty about it, okay? Fist weapon clipping? Yeah, I know fist weapons are fucking amazing. I love fist weapons. But uh, I don't really know if this is really that great. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I think it's a solid 7. At least a 7. Maybe an 8. For some people, it could even be a 9. All right? So I get that. I totally get it. Belt mismatch. Hidden blade. Uh, I, I just like it a lot. I think it's really good. What belt is that? That's a belt that comes from, uh, uh, what boss is it from? I think it's actually a BOE belt that you're able to get from Tomb of Star... Not Tomb of Star, uh, Throne of Thunder. 
You're able to get it from Throne of Thunder. Uh, and it's a shaman set. It's a male, male item. Uh, this is really good perk. I like it a lot. I think everything fits together really well. And there's nothing that's particularly wrong with this set. It's really, really well done. Good job. Real food from the guild. Doom, Doom, Doomer. This guy looks like... He looks like an updated model, if they ever updated Vanilla WoW models, as a mage trainer in South Shore. So he's got the, uh, the weapon right there. The weapon can come from two different places. It can come from a special quest line that you're able to do in Shadowmoon Valley and Burning Crusade. Or the weapon can also be uh, a drop from Doom Lord Kazakh, its war boss, in, uh, in Burning Crusade as well. Uh, all the rest of the other pieces are just random assorted, like blue and green gear. Nothing's particularly impressive. And then also the helmet there comes from the, uh, that is the Hellfire Citadel Mage set that comes from, obviously, Warlords of Draenor. And this, this cloak here, this cloak is a drop from, uh, I believe there's two versions of this cloak that are available. There's one version that drops from the Algalon quest reward turn-in in, uh, the original Dalaran. And then there's another quest reward cloak that you're able to get, or for actually quest cloak that you can get that looks just like this that comes from uh, the ICC vendor at the start of the instance. So it's okay. It's fine. What, what do you guys think? Looks like Cadgar's. It looks like Cadgar's brother who went to prison. What the fuck? Yeah, it does. Well, it looks like Cadgar's brother that went to prison, and he's an alcoholic. Uh, you you can't forget that part, too. And he's an alcoholic. This is actually really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, this is fucking perfect. Uh, good. Yeah, prison Mike. <laughs> okay, regardless, I, I think it does look great, man. Uh, and he's got his little spirit of competition from back in the day. Uh, this looks good. Yeah, it's very creative and very unique. I, I like this a lot. Slayer Diali. Fist of the Call. I like that. Uh, I believe that's what those are called, right? Uh, it's Fist of the Call. Uh, what is it again? Unholy Persuader. What the fuck is this? Uh, I don't even know where these weapons are from. I don't know, guys. I mean, this is... Eh, eh guys. I mean, come on. Really? You know, this is a winner because it has boobs? I mean, guys. Come on. Come on. This is awful. Chat has no shame. They have no fucking shame. They're completely okay. Just craigasming and giving... And this is the fucking double standard, man. Is you guys can sit here. And you can craigasm. And fucking get super excited. For any time a girl takes her shirt off. Or has cleavage. Yeah, look at this. Any time a girl has cleavage. And wow. But the moment she streams on Twitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch, this place used to be for gamers. And now we've got these girls coming in here, messing shit up, getting donations for just showing their titties. What the fuck? Can you believe that lesbian? Uh, oh, great. Now, what? What? Now you guys want duo winners? Listen, we've had enough. All right, regardless. Um, I, uh, I, I think that obviously the weapons are really cool, but everything else about it, like the leggings there are just like the Dark Moon Fair. I, I don't know. I think it's kind of mediocre. It's not really that great. Sorry, dude. Beans of Nomergun. This guy was the first person to queue up. Oh. Oh. Ooh. This is a... My, you're a bald one? Shut the fuck up. So this... Uh, well, ooh, that's, uh, that's the cloak of Nomergun. Those shoulders there are from a mythical deer, as well as the legs and the- Wait, what the fuck? This is a full set, pretty much. The helmet comes from the uh, heritage armor for, uh, for gnomes. This weapon right here is a very, very rare weapon. It drops- It's not drops, actually, excuse me. It is a crafted two-handed mace from Cataclysm. Uh, four out of eight? Yeah, but are you really gonna say it's four out of eight? Like, you're not gonna use it- The chest isn't visible. Uh, the bracers aren't visible. And you really just changed your, your fucking, your belt and your helmet and your cloak. That's it. It's like seven, really. Uh, yeah, give me a fucking break, okay? Poppy of League? I don't know what Poppy is, okay? I have no idea. I don't play that fucking bullshit game. But listen, uh, Tabard of Nomergun, you can see the bracers if you look closely. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna fucking look closely. Overall, I do think this is a good-looking set. 
where I do also believe it borderlines on being a full set. Chat, what's the verdict? Is this a full set? Google Poppy? Okay, let me look up Poppy. It just shows a bunch of flowers and this weird girl. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it just shows flowers in this girl. That, that's it. Uh, League of Legends? Okay, just a minute. Let me look it up again. League of Legends art. Uh... Uh... I don't know, guys. I mean, it's kind of close, but I feel like it's more farther away i don't know man like it could be it could be a little bit cleaner man uh the third third one yeah listen dude the third one listen, i don't want to look at any of these fucking anime pictures dude like uh, this like why why is it it's so odd to me that like all these anime girls look like they're nine you know what i mean like isn't that a weird thing uh, nobody even says this right but, like, they all look like they're little fucking kids. And it, it is creepy, man. It is fucking... Oh, look, Fox Slayer's in chat. Yeah, I was thinking about you. Yeah, of course I was thinking about you, Fox. The first fucking person that came to mind. Jesus Christ, guys. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right, we're going to the next one. Let's go to the next one, guys. All right, where is it? Good job, uh, good job, Beans. Uh, this is a good gnome we're gonna set. George the Kingslayer. All right. This is the helmet right there from the uh, Emerald Nightmare set. I believe the shoulders from obviously the Cult uh questing. The chest piece, legs, and boots. And I think also gloves from Warwood's Draenor questing. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, the cape is from... Uh, that's also just like the... Uh, uh, oh, wait. Oh, what is this? I don't know where this cape is from. I don't even know where the bow is from, either. At least these items are unique. Yeah, George? Yeah, exactly, man. Listen, people will call... I guess... I think, actually, this looks worse. Because the way that the helmet looks at this character, it just doesn't look that great. You look like, basically, Nathanos, but somehow you're even more of a cuck. So, let's go back to the, uh... Let's go back to the furry. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of it. And, um, it could be better. It could be worse. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of, yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay, it, it is what it is. Uh, the White Wolf is Geralt. Yeah, I see that. That's kind of cute. But uh, the Transmog, I think, is relatively mediocre. Chanel Dre, the faceless one. So it doesn't matter where you go in the world. Sometimes everything always comes right back down to having the same basic Demon Hunter Transmogs. Now, obviously, the best part about this is the uh, is the chest piece and uh, the shoulders there. I do think fit really well together. I think that's the Emerald Nightmare Mythic shoulders. I'm not 100% sure. The weapons are, of course, the Havoc Mage Tower appearance, and the belt and the boots there are from I think the Challenge Order Hall or some kind. Not Challenge Order Hall, the Class Order Hall. And uh, this is just an average. What the fuck, dude? Bro, fix your router. Fix your fucking router, bro. Like what the fu quick shift. I can see that. What the fuck is this? Jesus, man. All right. Uh, Chanel Dre, I feel like this is just kind of an average demon under transmog. I'm not really particularly amazed about it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, EU transmog. Uh, or sorry, EU, uh, EU ping. Um, yeah, this is an okay looking set. But I don't think that it's particularly amazing. Or it's not necessarily all that great. Okay. Uh, let's be real. Okay, script kitty. Yeah, basically, well, that's what people used to do. They used to have a lag switch, switch that they were able to turn on. And so feral druids would use this so other people couldn't attack them as easily because they'd be lagging all over the screen. Uh, using a lag switch was actually a, uh, a, a very meta thing. Yeah, uh, overall, the weapons and the shoulders look good. Build more off of that. It's good. 
This is actually good. If they were to add Talon Forgering back into the game again, I think that it would look something like this. So we've got the, the, the headband from Red Ridge Mountains, the tabard from Alterac Valley Exalted, the waste of time, uh, the leggings right there from Mythic Emerald Nightmare, the shoulders also from Mythic Emerald Nightmare, the gloves and the boots there from the Class Order Hall for Paladins, and also the uh, that's the Shattered Ashbringer from fucking the, uh, the Mage Tower. This is really good. What do you guys think? Rambo Forkering? No, it's just McConnell. It's not really McConnell. This actually looks really, really good. Uh, I'm impressed by this set. I actually think it looks great, man. Uh, I like it a lot. This is good job. Jim Atheo, nice fucking job. Jamie Lannister? Eh, that's, that's kind of a stretch. But uh, the High Lord title, I think everything about this makes it look really good. Let's go with the next one. Ooh. The best for last. Oh. Get this fucking deer at... Okay. So, uh, weapons here are obviously the Gore Howl. We've seen that a million times from Prince Malkazar back in, uh, you know... Uh, back in Karazhan. Shoulders there come from Mythic Hellfire Citadel for Warriors. The chest piece and also the belt there are the uh, Prideful Gladiator set as well as the legs. The boots and also the gloves there are from the Throne of Thunder DK set. I think that version is the uh, LFR version because it's green. Uh, I actually really like this a lot. I think that the worst part about this is the weapons though. I don't think these weapons look good at all. The weapons are just super low res and I think that they make the rest of the set look bad. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? I feel like the belt looks fine. Belt's completely fine. What is this here? Mc oh, come on. Don't be mean to McConnell. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Uh, overall, I think the weapons are really kind of weak, but everything else besides the weapon, and uh, everything else besides the weapon, I think is very, very clean and very well put together. Uh, I like this a lot. Uh, this is a really, really nice looking set. And the fact that you use three different types of gear together uh, is actually very impressive too. So good fucking job, man. Okay, all right, let's go to the next one. Okay, if that's the last one. Oh, it's the last one. That was the best for last. Okay, now I see why I said it. Okay, guys. Now, because this is the first EU transmog competition that I've ever done, I am going to do a top five. The top five winners for the first ever EU transmog competitions are number five. really hard for me to say if this is number five or number four but the number five and number four are pretty much tied in my mind we are going to give number five to vici the lightbringer i love this set i think that it's fucking amazing everything about it fits together very well and the colors are perfect the set is perfect everything about it looks really really fucking good so great job vinci nice job thanks yeah i'm gonna give you fifth place Nice fucking job. Yeah, what country? Let's see what he says. Poland. All right. Vinci from Poland. Fourth place. Yeah, let me know what country you guys are from if you uh, if you get a placing. Fourth place. Fourth place. It's gonna go. to Rapture. Now, I, I don't usually give very high placings to people that have transmogs that are derivative of other things, but I'm going to give this to Rapture here. Now, here's... Wait, what are the question marks for? What do you mean, dude? What do you mean? It should have been higher? No, I, I don't usually do ones... Okay, so let me pause this here. I'm going to pause music real quick. Let me explain something, all right? So my idea is that if you take a transmog from something that's already existing in the world, like in like, you know, another, uh, like let's say Lord of the Rings or something from uh, fucking, I don't know, some other like story or like video game, and you incorporate it into WoW, I don't necessarily consider that as original or impressive as if you have an original transmog that looks good objectively. 
So that's really what the difference is to me. That's what I consider valuable. And that's why I said Rapture and Vinci are pretty much even on fourth and fifth place. Okay. That is that, that that's my thinking. Now, if you do, the thing is like whenever I did like the two man transmog comps, um, I, I was more okay with that because it was like, it made a little bit more sense. But um, for this, I'm not really that big of a fan. So uh, regardless, I think this looks really good. Uh, this is going to get my fourth place. All right, I'll give you triangle. Okay. Country? All right, yeah, what country? What country? Let's see what he says. Germany. Hey, yo, bro. Yo, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, all right, all right. That was really good. All right, we're going to go to third place. Okay, guys, third place. All right, third place is going to go. Third place is going to go. I know this might sound weird, but these guys are all right next to each other. Third place is going to go to Varian. Uh, Varian the Immortal from Anachronox. I love this set. I really think this is one of the coolest looking sets that I've seen in a long time. I fucking love this set. Everything about it fits very well together with me. The colors are very subdued and dark and well done. I really, 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 really like it a lot. It's fucking amazing. Uh, I love it. Uh, so yeah, any Twitch primers? Okay, dude. All right, all right, all right. I don't know. I still don't feel like comfortable selling out for, for Twitch Prime, dude. I don't know why. I'm just not like, I, I just, I'm not, not ready for it. Go outside my garrison. I, I'll go outside my garrison after I finish. Okay. But uh, let me give these guys their placings. Okay, guys. And uh, all right. Regardless, I really, really like this a lot. All right. What country you're from, Varian? Uh, I'll give him the, uh, let's see. We'll give him the square. The X. Okay. And what country? Hungary. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much for coming. Varian from Hungary. Second place. What's wrong with my hair? This is fine. I look like a mad scientist. This is awesome. No, really, I look great. Look at this. Yeah, this is awesome. I look like a crazy... I look like a fucking madman, dude. Uh, I don't have a problem with that at all. Okay, so let's go with the next one. Number two. Second place. The second place. Hey. Hey, chill out. Okay. Second place. It's going to go. To Genrath. Elder Genrath. This Medivh set, I feel like is extremely well put together. I like it a lot. And uh, I feel like it looks really, really good. Now, obviously, it is kind of based... I don't think it's really based off of Medivh. I think it obviously reminds you from, of Medivh, but it's not really a Medivh set before somebody tries to, like, say, oh, well, you gave the Bioshock guy, you know, like, whatever, right? I, I think these are two separate things, and his set is more unique and not as derivative, and, and that's why I'm going to be giving him uh, second place. I like this set a lot. It's really, really fucking good. It looks amazing. Good fucking job, man. I will show a few of the, uh, uh, of like people that I didn't really like kind of get, give a placing to, but I still think have really good sets. First place. First place. It's gonna go to me. Look at this set. Look how well put together this set is. Look at that helmet right there. But the, the idea that you had. Oh, country? Shit, I forgot country. Okay, Genrath, what country are you from? Okay, all right, just a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what country from? I, I, I forgot again. Okay, just a second. Let me go ahead and uh, let's see what this is. Okay. Finland. There you go. Got somebody from Finland. Now, first place. Who do you guys think first place is going to be? Who do you guys think first place is going to be? This is fucking badass. And I'm gonna give him first place. I love this set. I like everything about it. 
I think it's very, very well put together. I really, really like this. He's got leather legs. These leggings are not leather. These are the Antorus DK offset leggings. Can you listen? <laughs> okay, all right, Narek. Vengeance Incarnate from the Guild Infinite Dream is the first winner of the EU Transmog competition. Narek, this is an amazing set. I think it's the cleanest, the most well put together set that I've seen in a long time, and I really like it a lot. Now, I want to go around and I want to show you guys, Narek, what country are you from, by the way. And on top of that, I want to go ahead and let's look at the other, uh, the other runner-ups, okay? I want to make sure everybody knows that. Uh, if we make sure that we have that. Space Shoes? Eng he's from England. Hey. Not a surprise at all there. England number one. That's my city, man. Let me go over to the... Uh... So, uh, this Quenos, I like his set a lot. This was definitely a run-up. Runner-up. Uh, explain Perk. Uh, so I really like this one a lot. This is a runner-up. And then on top of that, uh, Alanya. It, this one was really hard for me to pass up. And honestly, if I had been maybe a different mood, I would have maybe picked Alanya. But I, I really, really like this one a lot. I think it's great. Uh, Vera Heat, uh, your set's not really like... A lot of these sets are not really that amazing to me whenever I see them and they're like super normal. So I have kind of, I guess, maybe like a little bit of a bias against them. But uh, regardless, I think this is a, uh, a decent looking one. This one is really, really good. I like it. But I don't think it's necessarily original enough for me to give it a placing over other people's. And so that's why I didn't give it to you, even though I do really, really like this a lot. And I think what you do with the helmet and shoulders is really well done. This one's just a really good druid set. This is a nice looking paladin set. Uh, let's see, where are some of the other ones that I liked? Um, that one looks kind of cool. Um, but that's not what you originally came in here with. Um, let's see, Askar, I liked Askar's set, but I also didn't really feel like it was super original. It was like just using a lot of the wad pieces together. And so that's why I didn't really give it to him. It didn't really seem like original enough for me. And uh, that's why I didn't give him a placing, but it was really good. Uh, Peepo, uh, I, I didn't like the uh, the the old war stuff, which is also apparently leatherworking stuff too. Jagcar, I like this one a lot. It's unique, but I don't really think it's a winner. Herc, this is really, really good too. But I couldn't really get over the fact that the weapons just seemed really awkward with like your uh, hand guards. I, I thought that didn't really fit very well together. I didn't like that a lot. Um, also on top of that, I thought the leggings and the boots were just like kind of, you know, like they were throwaway items. Uh, uh Cadgar's, uh, alcoholic. No, this is, no, this is like if Conor McGregor became a mage. Yeah. This is like if, yeah, this is if Conor McGregor became a mage. That's what it would fucking look like. I never even thought of that, but there it is, dude. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay, um, let's go over here. Uh, beans, this one looks kind of cool. Uh, let's see... Uh, Dramantio, I like this one a lot. Obviously, I've just seen a lot of them like this before, but I do really like the color theme that you've got going on, and everything else beyond that is really, really good. So, I, I don't want to take away from anything you have, it's just that it's not necessarily original enough for me to really say, like, okay, we haven't seen, like, a hundred of these before. So, uh, because of that, that's why I gave it a placing. Or, I, I didn't give it a placing, excuse me. This one just looks good, mace, uh, swords are bad, though. Axes are bad, excuse me. This one sucks. Uh, can I show you a mog real quick? Go ahead. One. Check out my OnlyFans. You really shouted out your fucking Twitter. You had me feel sorry for you because you didn't get a placing. And you use that to shout out your fucking Twitter. Gentlemen, this is the first of many. There are literally thousands of you guys that want to be in here, okay? Uh, let me go outside. All right, I'll go outside. All right, let me go outside. Oh my fucking god, dude. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of fucking people, man. This is our community right here. This is what we do.